Hello everybody, it is Silver Arrow Cars and this strange little fella is an actually quite a limited production Nissan Figaro. This is Lapis Gray. They made these cars for one year only. This is a one year production car. Originally slotted for 8,000 units for the 1991 model year. Uh, and then there was tremendous demand for the car. So they built another 12,000. So a total of 20,000 ever built. Uh, this one, uh, the, all of them are right hand drive. This one in particular has 49,000 kilometers, which is about 30, uh, 30,000 miles. 30,000, about that, 30,000 miles. Finished in lapis gray with the cream leather interior and we just finished our drive video. We've got it here in the showroom. It's quite an impressive little car. Uh, please use this video in conjunction with the photos we've taken. Uh, those we just are doing tomorrow morning. And uh, you will see all the nooks and crannies. All of our photos are high definition. Please zoom in on those. I'm gonna use this video to show you the nooks and crannies of the car and just kind of give you another perspective as to the condition of it. So. Let's just start, as I do with most of them, with the front of the car. This is normally where you're gonna see a lot of chipping on cars. Uh, and the front looks very, very clean. The bezels, this is all, this is not chrome. This is all polished stainless steel, as I understand it. And you can tell by looking at the, the trim itself. Looks like it's got its original Nissan uh, headlights. All the lower part of the front of the car and the, around the grill, I don't really see any chipping at all. It's very, very tidy. Uh, the bright work shows a little bit of wear, but very, very little. Um, we didn't spend a massive amount of time on the detail of this car. It was a fairly quick one as it came in in very good condition. So I think if someone wanted to, you could probably bring up even more luster out of the bright work. <clears throat> Looks like their Nissan branded lenses still for the indicators on the front emblem it's a pretty cool little emblem there's a little scratch right here it looks like it's showing up on camera but the rest of the hood very very splendid condition hubcaps all of them look great lower bright work on the cars those look good on the car same thing with the stainless surround of the windshield the windshield's in great shape. Coming around to the, oh, I wanted to say driver's side. This is the passenger side as it is a right-hand drive. Again, I'll mention every single one of these cars, you will not find a left-hand drive vehicle unless it was converted. These were all built as a right-hand drive only. And again, a little mark here on the subcap, but looking around through the wheel wells, all really tidy. Nice and straight. I don't see any dings down the side of the car. Mirror cap's in great shape. Let's move into the interior. It's a really nice, rich ivory interior. Leather feels in very good quality. The dash and all the vents all the switches on the dash are all very, very tidy. No cracks. I don't see any delamination. Door panels, really tidy. Ends the doors. It's a very, very well-kept car. Pretty impressive as well for being, what, 30, 30 years old? And the door jams. Nice and tidy. Again, if you watch the driving video, you'll see we try and speak about all the electronics. So I've got nothing really to point out here on the seats. And amazingly, a four-seater car. Four seat belts, little tiny rear seats. Pretty cool. Find that guy back. Around to the back of the car. Again, it's the same condition throughout the entire exterior. So 
We've got really nothing to point out for blemishes in the paint. Spectacular down the sides. Same thing with the boot lid. This opens this way and that's what exposes uh, the trunk space where the top goes down into. We'll pull that back up in a moment. Rear bumper. Great shape. Same with the rear lenses. Full rear of the car looks good. All the plastics. A little bit of wear you'll see here. I'm sure that could be cleaned up maybe with a magic eraser. And as we mentioned, we were just looking at the market on these and I think one of these sold for 50 something thousand at RM Sotheby's just recently. Looking down the, what is the driver's side on the right side, I don't see any blemishes. A little bit of chipping on the edge of the door. That's fairly normal. Little guy here, another one here. But really, really tidy. Looking at the driver's seat in the entry, a little bit of scuffing. But the seat itself, really tidy. Again, we did a fairly quick detail on this. I think probably some of this discoloration on the edge of the piping, I think you can get that out pretty easily. No signs of actual cracks. These are just le normal leather wrinkles. Very tidy car. There's the door panel. I'm gonna pop the hood and uh, I'll bring up the roof as well. So to release the roof, hit that button there. There's the hood release. There is that little stove. There is your VIN plate. Look at that little turbo, one liter. Nice and tidy under here. This could be cleaned up quite easily. Um, but as far as corrosion on steel, I don't see really any rust anywhere under the hood here. Strut tower bolts. Very tidy still, you can still see the factory markings on them. Very, very clean. Nice. Had to bring up the convertible roof. I believe. You unsnap this. That exposes the roof here. Lift up. There we go. I think I am good to close this now. We'll wait to latch that. And then inside. It's hard with one hand. There we go. And we're latched. <clears throat> Glass rear window, it's got defrost. Pretty interesting little car. I love it. This would be a neat car just to have around. Nice and small, doesn't take up much space in your garage. $30,000 investment. Collector limited production car, it makes kind of sense. All right, I think we'll leave it there. So. To recap, 1991 limited production Nissan Figaro. We're selling this in the United States on an Ohio title. Shipping it out of Blaine. This is finished in lapis gray. It's a one liter turbo. And this was a one year only car by Nissan for rest of world, never came to North America. Good luck finding another one. And as I said, I think one of the last ones to sell was at RM Sotheby's for 50,000. Thank you everybody. If you have any questions, hit the contact seller button, look us up on the internet, whatever you'd like to do. Thank you very much.